Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. I'm John. In this video, I am going to talk about marker colors. I was working on this film and I found myself needing different colors of markers to identify different things that needed my attention. So I was using the standard colored markers for identifying uh, scene changes or location changes. And then I was using another color wherever there was a sound effect that was missing. And another color for problem areas. But setting that up, choosing the colors per marker was a little bit slow. So I found that the SWS auto color function can do that for me based on the name of the marker. First, let me show you the basic color for markers. If you open up the theme development tweaker window, which you can now find in the action list, right here, that brings up this window. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll find markers. So you can change this to whatever color you would like. And that changes all the markers of the default color. Then with the SWS extensions, there is this auto color icon option. So for markers with the pound sign, I've got yellow. For exclamation point, I use red. For equals, I use blue. And so far, I've only needed four different colors. So whenever I'm making a new marker, let's say I want, uh, so he's, he gets up out of his chair here. All right, so he's getting out of his chair. I'll put a marker in here. Pound sign, warning, because it's just a sound effect missing. And then chair. And normally I would set color with this, but with auto color, I just have to put in that symbol and it pops up there and you can see it quickly changed from red to yellow. Using the region and marker manager, we can sort by color and then easily jump to each problem area. And once each area is finished, just delete the marker by alt clicking on it and it's done. So in a music mix, you would use markers to identify each section of the song. You could use the different color markers to identify problem areas, things that need to be replaced. It's a great way to leave yourself notes for things that happen at specific times. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. Coloring markers, why you would want to, using the auto color function and the region and marker manager. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. Hope this helps you in your next project. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.